favor. And Michael Cooper, perhaps the league's best on defense, was assigned to guard him. Well, you don't stop a Larry Bird. What you try to do is contain him, make him take something that they don't want to take. Uh, instead of giving Larry a 15-footer, we'd like to have him take an 18-footer with a hand or two hands in his face. Cooper stayed with him. He had always been aggressive and played Bird tough. But the Warriors managed to bail out of a four-game rout, buoyed by the outstanding shooting of Eric Sleepy Floyd. With a playoff record of 29 points in the fourth quarter, Sleepy scored 51 on the game and handed L.A. its first loss of the postseason. Upon returning to the forum, the alarm sounded for L.A.'s defensive ace. It was time for a showdown. Before the fifth game, the Lakers' great sixth man, Michael Cooper, was honored as the 1987 NBA Defensive Player of the Year, a remarkable achievement because it's usually an honor held for starting players. Part of Coop's success comes from a tireless work ethic, but you can find a bigger reason by simply pointing into the stands. One is my inspiration, and uh, with her... Uh, up in the stands and my kids uh, every time I make that key basket that puts us ahead or brings us a little bit closer to victory She's all the reason for it. So I have to point to her Cooper is also an NBA Iron Man playing in more than 500 consecutive games The streak is something that goes way back to when I was in junior college uh, Skinny as I am 174 pounds 75 pounds people are always telling me Mike you wouldn't you won't be able to stand the rigors of the NBA and now that I look back on it you know that's what makes me go on and continue the streak because there are games when I don't feel like playing or games that I'm hurt that I have the opportunity to sit out but when I think about all that talk that's what gets me ready to keep on going a game that Cooper eagerly looked forward to was the rematch against Sleepy Floyd, whose point production was spilling over into game five. Michael concentrated on closing down the only man who could hurt the Lakers. He made sure that number 21 mirrored number 21, forming an airtight seal on his opponent. Cooper practically suffocated Floyd and then vaporized anything that dared to cross his path. Warrior heads were spinning, and a patented Koopa Loop sealed the game in the series. The Lakers marched on to their sixth consecutive Western Conference Finals, and everything was going according to plan. A third straight game was to be settled in the final seconds, but this time, L.A. had to come up big on defense. Ellis gives it to Luke, and now to Ellis. That's a two-pointer block by Cooper. What a block. Out of nowhere, Cooper's dogged pursuit salvaged the win for Los Angeles and sent Seattle's lofty dreams crashing to the floor. Again, the Sonics came painfully close to stealing a game from the league's winningest team.